All right, hello everyone. This is Glenn Geitzen, Executive Director of Mennonite Church USA here at Mennonite World Conference, getting ready for the General Council. Just wanted to share a few things with you all as uh, as I uh, spend a few days here at Mennonite World Conference. I know everyone can't be here, but I'm here with, uh, with a lot of youth delegates, I think, are, are here at the airport and our Canadian uh, partner, Doug Clawson, right here from Mennonite Church Canada is here, so it's good to see all these people here. Uh, met, met a few people too from uh, Lancaster. Uh, they're waiting on their, their baggage right now, but it's good to see old friends and uh, reunite with many people from around the world here at Mennonite World Conference. So just give you a, a brief glimpse of uh, who's here. That's everybody. I don't know everyone's name. I do know a few people, uh, but people from all over. Uh, we're going to be here with the general council. So those are representatives from the churches uh, all over the world here from Mennonite World Conference. We're, we're coming here to uh, discuss a number of, of issues. I'll get into the agenda later on. Maybe we'll do an interview with some of our global partners. But uh, if you're not able to be here, I understand uh, it took me over 49 hours to get here with all of the flights and everything uh, but I want to keep you updated let you know well, what we're doing uh, also joining me for this will be Sue Park Her, our director of racial ethnic engagement and also Linda Dibble so I'll let you know uh, in a couple of days what's going on but join us I think they're gonna post something on Facebook so we're getting ready to head over to the stadium for registration so I'll talk to you all later all right everyone hopefully you can hear this I know it's a lot of chatter in the back so I'll hopefully this comes out but again here we are checking in into uh, the the holy stadium here in Jakarta and this is our first stop we, we sign in and people are uh, getting their COVID tests. So that's part of the registration process is to get your your COVID test. So everybody's doing that and making sure we are, we are as uh, safe as possible. So you see everybody's lined up. Some of the tests aren't really working. So that's what people are doing, but uh, lined up getting their COVID test and making sure at least you're not infected when, when you get here. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, this is the registration area. Folks are getting their uh, program books. Uh, some people are getting are you from these these uh, USB drives uh, with information on it. I'm not sure, exactly sure what's on this USB drive, but uh, it's some information uh, that we that we'll use. We're getting our nice bags, so registration bag, and we get water bottles too. Aren't those nice? I'm bothering the people here at registration. So just sharing a little bit uh, of what's going on here the very beginning the global youth summit those people are getting ready to uh to go to wherever they're doing the global youth summit we're also uh getting ready for the general council meeting again those are the heads of churches and their representatives uh that will be talking about things that are important for the global church so thank you all so much for for joining me I think we're going to probably post something daily about what's happening, particularly around the, the, uh, the general council meeting, just to give you a glimpse of, of what will be taking place here. It's so good to see our uh, partnering churches from around the globe. It's wonderful to be a part of this Anabaptist family. I'm even seeing uh, some of my, my good friends. Is, Bishop Hyacinth Stevens from LMC all Lancaster. Right, all right. Still part of the family. Still part of the family. Still part of the family. So just uh, <laughs> wonderful to see people here uh, and, and just be a part of this global Anabaptist family. You know, one of the things is, is that I believe that we can find ways to be together as the church. We all come from different cultural backgrounds. Uh, we all have similar but different histories of you know who we are why we do what we do but we can put aside those differences and come together as a common family as brothers and sisters in, in in christ and that's one of the great things about being a part of this church uh being a part of this global family 
and uh, just seeing the wonderful diversity that is part of the Mennonite Anabaptist family. You know, we ha all have some, some things in our context that are important to us, uh, things that we have to focus on in our home countries and our nation. But again, we can come together to worship, to pray, to talk about global, global issues that impact us all as Christians. And that's a wonderful thing. Interestingly enough, you know, we're here in Indonesia. Indonesia is 99% uh, Muslim. And I've actually had some conversations with a number of uh, Muslim people um, that have a, a variety of practices. And it's just interesting just to learn and hear what's going on in other parts of the world. We get so focused on our limited context, our limited understanding of what's happening in the world. And I think that's a sad thing. So opportunities like Mennonite World Conference, hopefully you can join online. But opportunities like this help us to expand our faith help us to see God's handiwork in some new and amazing things. So uh, just think about that. Think about that in your local context. There are some things that you want to focus on locally uh, that are that are really important for your context, but we can still be Mennonite Church USA. We can be Mennonite Church USA. We can be part of the North American Mennonite churches with our partners, Mennonite Church Canada, uh, Lancaster Mennonite Conference, and we can be a part of this global context, which is similar but very 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 different and so I'll, I'll share with you the things that will be going on uh we'll be going over uh during our time at the at this general council meeting so thank you all so much for, for joining me i'll talk to you later this is glenn guyton executive director of mennonite church usa live at least live for me from cimarron it's a 12-hour difference from central time bye-bye